to the my fitness pal tutorial here we go let's go back here so i'm just going to go straight to my dashboard now you guys can see uh, the dashboard is here my total caloric budget is 2507 every day uh, i don't have anything logged on here i haven't I haven't really done anything. So we're going to go right into some of the key settings that you need. Uh, understand that you do not need to go premium and buy the extra, you know, whatever it is. I think it's $79.99 a year um, or $19.99 a month. While it is, there are cool bells and whistles, it's not necessary, right? So with all that being said, we're going to go down here to the bottom right-hand corner where it says more. First and foremost, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to tap on goals. Now, my starting weight, 152 on October 2012. Been a while since I've been on my fitness pal. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna update all this. And we're just gonna do today's date, 2024. January 26th, I weighed in today at 155. Okay. Current weight 155, I'm looking to maintain. Now under nutrition goals, I'm gonna put cal for calories, carbs, protein, and fat, I'm gonna tap on that. Now my calories, based off of, it just recalculated everything because I put in a new weight. Uh, so for my calories, I'm at 2,500, okay? Now, I have a specific carbohydrate, protein, and fat uh, goal, and this is not it. So, I'm gonna tap on that, and I'm going to set my carbohydrates down here at 30%. I'm gonna have my protein up here at 30%, and I'm gonna have my fat over here at 40%. All right, so. Carbs, I'm getting ma mainly um, vegetables and rice and, you know, a little bit of fruit. Uh, so, as a matter of fact, I'm going to pump that down to 25 and I'm going to increase my protein to 35. There we go. So now we're at 100% and that's that. So I just set my, my, uh, my macronutrient goals there. All good. Now, I can also come back, we'll try settings, and then we're going to go diary settings. Now, here's what's really cool, is I can go customize meal names. Now, you'll see right here on your MyFitnessPal, it's going to say uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then snacks. So, I've set mine to do six meals, breakfast, AM snack, lunch, PM snack, dinner, late snack. So that's going to be really a, a cool tool for you guys for setup, okay? So now that we have all of our settings done, I'm going to go to my diary down here in the bottom, uh, kind of almost left-hand side here, and I'm going to log my breakfast. My So my breakfast, uh, I've been home sick for the last, geez, four days, so my breakfast was literally just a banana. That's it. So I just hit a banana. Now you'll notice that right here, I've got a bunch of the foods that I eat, I have eaten recently. So your most recent foods are going to be listed right here. Okay. Now, if I wanted to search for a food, I could literally just type in to the search bar, banana. Right. And then it's right there. And I just hit the plus sign and it adds to my diary. Perfect. Now, I didn't have a PM or an AM snack today. Just my appetite's been not so great, but I'm going to go to lunch now and I'm going to hit add food. All right. And I'm not even going to go to the, the, the previously listed foods. But I had chicken breast, so I'm going to just type that in. All right. And. Kirkland chicken breast. Now that's eight ounces. I'm going to tap on that. Now, number of servings it says two, serving size is four ounces. So I had six ounces of chicken today. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 1.5 at 4 ounces gives me 165 calories. All right, and I'm going to just check. But I also had white rice. Okay, and I, I prefer to go with the green check mark white rice. So I'm going to go... That's a half cup, and I actually had a full cup, so I need to go back and edit that, but we're just gonna go back now. So we'll tap on that white rice, and I'm gonna go, if a half cup is a serving, I'm gonna go two servings. It gives me 320 calories. It's more carbs than I should have had, but it's all right. And then I need to add food, so sprouts, in the air fryer. I'm gonna see if I air fryer Brussels sprouts. Perfect! So I can tap on that and then I can go I had about I'm gonna, I had about six ounces so we're gonna do another 1.5 servings, giving me 100 calories from Brussels sprouts. Boom. That's pretty easy. And so now I can go back and I can see that thus far today, pardon me, my PM snack, I'm going to add that I had a orange Celsius. And I did not spell that right. Soliculus. <laughs> Let's see. Orange Celsius, 12 ounce. There we go. Okay. And there it is. So thus far, I have only had 701 calories today. Um, now, when we calculate out your calories. We actually don't, your trainer is already going to factor in your exercise. So if your Apple Watch is logging exercise and giving you extra calories based off of the exercise that you've, you've done for the day, that's wrong. We want to disable that feature. So the way that we do that is we go more, we go down here to settings, and there is going to be a settings down here. Let's see where that is. My apps and devices. So this is cool because you can actually connect all of these different things um, to include your Trainerize in there. You actually do that through the Trainerize app. But these are all the different apps that I have connected. Um, ah. Here it goes. Under fitness goals, uh, exercise calories. Decide whether to adjust daily goals when you exercise. So that's locked. That's going to be a premium feature. So um, I guess that doesn't matter. All right. Well, there we go. So now here's the cool thing. Now when I go to diary, right, I'm going to scroll now all the way down. And I'm going to click on nutrition. Now what you'll see is that today it's 444 right now. I've only had 53 grams of protein for the day. I've had 116 grams of carbohydrates, um, 11 grams of fiber, 17 grams of sugar. Um, you know, I've, I, I need to eat more at the end of the day is what, is what it comes down to. But I can also look at my macronutrient profile over here on the upper right hand side. And I can see that my goal is 25% carbs, 40% fat, and 35% protein, 2,500 calories. I'm way outside of those parameters, right? The vast majority of what I've eaten between the rice and the banana are carbohydrates. Now, I'm going to kind of fix that as the day goes on and eat more protein but we want to make sure that these are two, the nutrients and the macros are two things that you are monitoring on a, on a 
on a meal basis. Every meal, you log it and you check it. And I would actually recommend that you log it before you actually eat it because you're going to be able to see what how it's going to impact your daily calories and your macronutrient ratios and your nutrients and all of that stuff. For example, for nutrients, if you're uh, if you've got high blood pressure and you're crazy high on sodium, well that's going to be a problem. So, you know, rather than feeling the effects after the damage has already been done, it's better to uh, to log the food and then see and see if it's uh, what kind of impact it's going to make. All right, guys, that's your tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye.